Hey guys, Zong here. And Daniel here. Back with another logarithm video. Someone suggested we should quickly run through the properties of logarithms so that our audience gains a clear understanding of what we are talking about in our log questions. So, um, without further ado, I'll state the first property of logs, um, which is called the log sum prop. And this states that um, log base a b plus log base a c equals log base a b c. And the way we prove this is that if log base a b equals x and log base a c equals y. Okay, then. Um, then a to the x equals b, a to the y equals b. Then we multiply these equations together. I mean, sorry, not, wait, no, this is c, sorry. We multiply these equations together and get a to the x plus y equals bc. And then we convert it back to log form to show that a log base a to the bc equals x plus y. Then we use substitution from here to show that log AB plus log um, AC equals log ABC. So that is a logarithm sum property. And um, we're going to have Daniel do the next property. Right. So the next property is the similarly the logarithm difference property. And it's proved in a similar way. So we have the logarithm diff for short property. So this states that log base a b minus log base a of c equals log base a of b over c. Now similar to the last proof, we can let log base a of b equal x and log base a of c equals y. This would mean that a to the power of x equals b and a to the power of y equals c. Now, instead of multiplying these two, we can divide the first by the second. to get a to the power of x minus y equals b over c. Now we convert it back into logarithm form, which is log base a of b over c equals x minus y. Oops, x minus y. And then substitute these back, just like the last proof, to get log base a of b minus log base a of c equals log base a of b over c. The next property I'm going to do, and the next property is, uh, what's this one called? The logarithm. I think I'll call it power prop. And this power prop is basically saying log a to the a base a b to the n equals n times log base a b. And the way you prove this is uh, you realize that um, if log a to the b equals x, um, that means a x equals b. And then to gain this equation, to gain this expression right here, you would uh, you you multi you um, raise both sides by a power of n to make a to the x n equal to b to the n. And then after that, you would get the equation of um, I believe. Let me think. Um, what was it going with this? Um, log a base a b to the n is equal to xn. 
and then you substitute log a to the b in here to get log a b to the n equals n times log a to the b and that proves our property and going back to Daniel with the last nice okay so the last property I'm going to talk about is called the logarithm chain rule property I'll just call it chain rule for short and be careful not to mix this up with like other chain rules like from calculus they're completely different rules and some of you may also know this as the logarithm base change properly because they're technically the same thing, but I'm just going to call it chain rule. This property states that logarithm base A of B times log base B of C equals log base A of C. And you can kind of see how this chain rule works because like you can see like the B's kind of cancel out. But we have to prove this rigorously. So let's start by letting log base A of B equal x and log base B of C equal y. So this means that A to the power of x equals B, B to the power of y equals C. Now if we substitute this equation into this B here, then we get a to the power of x to the power of y equals c. And if you recall from your simple exponent properties that this a to the power of x to the power of y is equal to a to the power of x times y. And this equals c. Now converting it back into logarithms, we see that log base a of c equals x, y. Now, substituting all this stuff back in, we get log base a of b times log base a of c. Sorry, that looks a little scrunched up. Log base a of b times log base b of c equals log based A of C. And we're done. Cool. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and we'll see you next week. Right. Hey guys, Long here, back from another logarithms video and today we will be doing logarithms level three. And this is another Amy problem, it's problem eleven, so look at the problem. Don't be discouraged if you get stuck on it because it is rather hard. And uh pause the video if you need to. Okay, so here's this.